to my new video which is based on the topic interpolation. Let us start with the definition of interpolation. Let us suppose we have given a function. Okay. We have given some values of that function. Like the arguments are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the values for this function is this. Now if we have to find out the value of 0.5. Or 1.5 or 4.5 then how can we find this this process of finding out the values of arguments value of function between the given intervals is called interpolation whereas if if we have to find out the value of 5.5 that is out of the range of given interval then what do we, that process is called extrapolation okay so we are talking here about interpolation only, okay? Interpolation can be for, carried out by using these formulas. Newton's forward, Newton's backward, Gauss's forward, Gauss's backward, or Stirling's and Bessel's formula. So, we are studying these, all these formulas one by one. Let us start with Newton's forward difference formula. Newton's to apply Newton's forward difference operator, you have to remember one thing that that is the interval between the arguments should be the same. Okay, like here the difference between the argument is one, whereas here the difference between the argument is two. So if the difference, let us suppose the difference or interval is h, then any function and any value can be written as in the form of this. If you substitute the value of p here, you get fp. Okay. So the Newton's forward difference formula is i plus p Newton's forward operator of f naught p p minus one by two factorial Newton's second order forward operator p p minus one p minus two by three factorial Newton's third order operator. Okay. Whereas here i is just identity element means i is f naught initial value of any function if you are talking about another sign newton's backward then there is a slightly slight change which is here we apply newton's forward difference operator whereas here newton's backward operator is applied here we use subtract operation whereas we here we use uh, negative uh, positive operation we use negative here, whereas here we use positive difference operator, okay? Now, let us start or understand this topic with some examples. Firstly, in this question, we have to find out the cubic polynomial of given function, okay? The function is... Now, listen to me, you have to form Newton's forward difference operator table. Newton's forward difference operator table. How it can be preceded? The values of x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The values for y minus 3, 3, 11, 27, 57 and 107. Okay? So, what are the value of del y, Newton's forward operator of y, this become my 3 plus 3, 3 minus minus plus 3 that is 6, 11 minus 3, 8, you know how to make for Newton's forward difference operator, isn't it? 27 minus 11, this becomes 16, 20, 57 minus 27 becomes 30, 107 minus 57 becomes 50. Okay, these are all our values for first order difference operator. Then second order difference operator becomes 8 minus 6 that is 2. 16 minus 8 is 8. 30 minus 16 that is 14. 50 minus 30 that is 20. You have to proceed it up to a constant term. So 8 minus 2 is 6. 14 minus 8 is 6, 20 minus 14 is 6. So, here as it is cubic polynomial, so uh, the values become constant. 
Now, apply 4x as we have to find out the cubic polynomial here. So, you have to take this, these values. This is f naught. This is what we have to find out. Del f naught. This is del 2f naught. This is del 3f naught. And if we are talking about del 4y, it leads to 0. Okay? So, apply Newton's forward operator, which is i. i means f naught plus, we are talking about the function of x. f naught plus p here, x, as interval is 1. And the value is x naught is 0. X is X and H is 1. So it becomes X only. This becomes X del F naught. Del F naught is 6. Plus, okay, firstly we have to write the formula here. F naught plus P del F naught plus P P minus 1 by 2 factorial. Del square F naught plus P P minus 1 P minus 2 by 3 factorial del 3 if not and so on. So this becomes f naught. The value of f naught is minus 3. The value of p is x. Del f naught is 6. So this becomes 6x. p is x. x into x minus 1 by 2 factorial is 2. I hope you know how, how we can find out the value of factorials. We have to reduce the terms by 1. 2 then 1. If we have to find out the value of 3 factorial, then it becomes 3, 2 and 1. So, substitute the value of 2 factorial, that is 2. 2, 1 is 2. Del square f naught is 2 plus p. p is x here. x minus 1, x minus 2. 3 factorial is 6, as you know this. Del 3 f naught is also 6. And all the rest values, del, not, del 4 f naught, del 5 f naught becomes 0. So, on solving this, we get minus 3 plus 6x six plus x square minus 1 minus x. This becomes x square minus x. When x square minus x multiplied with x minus 2, it becomes x cube minus 2x square minus x square minus 1 plus 2x. So what we get? Minus 3 x square 2 x square x square 2 x square x square is cancelled out with x square and we get minus 2 x square only. Here we go x cube 6 into 8 x minus x 7 x. So by all arranging this according to their degrees we get this polynomial. This is our answer fx. This is fx. I hope you understand. Now, we are proceeding to our next example, which is read this. Find the value of x is equal to 9 of given function. Do you know where x is equal to 9 comes? Between 8 and 10. Absolutely right. So, here as P, value of P is x minus x naught by h. Okay? x naught its initial value. That is x naught is 8. x is that value for which we have to interpolate. That is at x is equal to 9. And h is interval. Interval between the arguments is 2. Yes? So, putting all these values x minus x naught by h. What do we get? 1 by 2 that is 0. 0.5. Okay. Now take the values by Newton's forward difference operator, the difference formula for interpolation. The value is fp becomes f naught plus p delta f naught plus p p minus 1 del square f naught by 2 factorial plus p p minus 1 p minus 2 by 3 factorial del square f del cube f naught. Okay. So, for finding out these values, we have to make Newton's forward operator table. Okay. So, value of x is and y is. 
x is 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Whereas value of y are 1000, 1900, 3250, 5400, 8950. Okay. So how can we proceed with Newton's forward operator? This becomes delta y that is 1900 minus 1900. 3250 minus 1900 it becomes 12 minus 9, 3, 2 minus 1, 1. Okay. This becomes 0, 10 minus 5, 5, 3, 2, 3 minus 2, 1, and 5 minus 3, 2. This becomes 0, 5, 9 means 4, 5, 8 means 8 minus 5, 3. Okay. Now, second, 0, 5, 13 minus 9, that is 4, 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 11 minus 3, 8. This becomes 0, 0, 5 minus 1, 4, 3 minus 2, 1. For third order difference, 0, 10 minus 5, 5, 7 minus 4, 3, 0, and 600. Therefore, y becomes 0, 10 minus 5, 5, 5 minus 3, 2. I hope you understand. Now, substitute all these values. So, as x known as this, we have to take this, these values, okay? So, f naught becomes this, del f naught, del l f naught, del cube f naught, <laughs> del 4 f naught becomes this, okay? Now, substitute into the formula. F0 is 1000 plus P. The value of P is 0.5, whereas the value of del F0 is 900 plus P, 0.5. And 0.5 minus 1 becomes, this is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 1 becomes minus 0.5. So, this becomes minus 0 0.25. Okay. Then del square f naught, the value of it, this is 450 by 2 factorial is 2. Then the value of p is 0 0.5. p minus 1 is minus 0 0.5. For, uh, 0 0.5 minus 2 is what we get? 1.5. So substitute this. And then del cube f naught is 350. By 3 factorial is 6. And then, if we carry out this onto one step, this becomes this. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 1, minus 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 2, minus 1.5. 0 0.5 minus 3 is minus 2.5. And 4 factorial, that is 4, 3 is... 4 factorial means leading to next 6 was 24. Okay, when we solve this, we get 1405.8594. I hope you understand how we can interpolate any terms. In our next video, we are going to define our rest of the formulas that is. Sterling's and bases. Thank you.